But yeah, there's a lot of stigma um, attached to mental health. The first thing I think of is when I was a kid and I used to um, see people with mental health on the street who didn't actually know what was wrong with them. The person that's going through it may not necessarily be aware of it. So pe people around you, if, let's say per se, people, people, people around me, if I was going through something, they might actually, be able, they might actually, actually notice changes, changes to my behaviour, changes to my mood, changes to how I'm engaging with, with life. If someone who is not coping well with stress, or someone who is depressed, will tend to be withdrawn, will not socialise as much as they used to. In some ways, could become antisocial. Okay, like I have to talk about my personal view and not the personal view of the elders. Because if I think about them, I suddenly start to think of, oh, somebody has put some juju on her. Oh, or my boy, her husband left her, or something like that, some crisis like that. So many of you, so many people, you know, including ministers, they talk about which, what is a witch? Have they seen a witch? You know, the issue of witch. You know, many people, will be, you know, because I, personally, I was being, being raised up in Africa. I grew up, you know, with that mentality. Hey, the slight thing is a witch. I don't even know which. What is a witch? You know, my perception of which is what probably I've come to see here on the road. But I have never really seen it. But, you know, I grew up with that embedded in my psyche and in my language for instance when people have mental illness they feel that perhaps the church can help the church can counsel you but if you have a particular mental health issue you need the professional you can still go to church you can still go to the synagogue you can still go to the mosque you can get community support but you still need medical support in order to survive.